Alright, uh, I said I'm not going to be doing another shock treatment till the end of, uh, huh, till, 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 till 2020. So, uh, I'm just going to share this with you real quick. I'll take a look at what Bella sent me. This is from 2014, but it's a Smithsonian, alright? And, uh, <laughs> it's saying it's pretty much human flesh, looks like beef, but the taste is more elusive. Some say it's akin to pork, or maybe veal. <laughs> depending on who you ask, depending on what kind of sick bastard you're asking, freaking cannibal and shit. But even though this is from February 13, 2014, by the way, my February's my birthday's February 3rd. Um, it still seems like they're trying to condition uh, the sheeple out there. You know, that's how they do it, little by little. They introduce a topic, and then they go, "Well, there's no harm in wondering, right?" People wondered that. I don't know. I don't wake up. I don't wake up and go, "Man, I wonder what I wonder what human flesh tastes like." Do you? I don't wake up and wonder what bugs taste like either. It's freaking nasty and worms and stuff like that. But this is what this article is saying. So uh, uh, I thought it was kind of funny that she it brought up pork because Ma today said that uh, she didn't care for the pork from last night. And I said, why? Why? She made pork chops, but it was, you know, no fat. It was very lean. She said, I don't know. I just didn't care for it. I need something with more fat on it. I said, well, uh, it's funny you bring that up because Bella sent me an article about uh, a human flesh tasting like pork. I mean, you know, food shortages out there from the chemtrails and the... You know, the climate engineering, killing off everything, uh, maybe that's, and it seems like a bigger push to, towards, uh, uh, acclimating the sheeple into thinking that this is normal, freaking zombie nation. But take a look. It discusses our, our muscle color, it could be, uh, and, and its red, muscle's red color can be traced to the uh, presence of a richly pigmented protein called, uh, myoglobin. Anyway, it goes on and on discussing how, how our, I guess, our, our, our flesh is like similar to red meat, that of a uh, cow. I didn't read the whole thing. It's hard to read on this freaking phone. It pisses me off. But anyway, um, I, mean, I don't feel like I'm blind over it. <laughs> it's straining my eyes. But the fact is, just know that that's what they're conditioning uh, out there. And uh, I came across, I could swear I did a video about them planning on uh, possibly planning on selling, selling human flesh and make it in a freaking... Uh, laboratory to sell. We making meat in a laboratory and then human flesh? But this is where they're going. Don't you realize it? Don't you see it? It's this fallen world. Satanic. Alright? You see it everywhere. What about that freaking uh, Sister Louisa, Sister uh, whatever that bar is in freaking uh, Atlanta. Alright? Uh, Church of the Living Room and it mixes Jesus in with satanic things and the occult and all this bullshit. That's wicked, man. And it has a place in there called a sanctuary. It ain't a sanctuary from the capital G. Uh, G. It's from the lowercase g, you devils, you. All right? Your daddy, Satan. But that's where we're at in all this. All right? So be on the look. Be on guard. Just just know. Uh, <laughs> keeping you current. Yeah. All right. They want a condition. And listen, they can't get to guys like people like me. I'm 49. I, I know what time it is. But the, the millennials and the indoctrination in the schools and crap... I mean, you let your kids get uh, uh, brainwashed by the state eight hours at least a day. Eight hours they got them, and then you play cleanup when you get home. I've already said this, but how many times over? You rush them to get supper done, taking Johnny and little Susie to freaking after-school sporting events, and then you tuck them in, make sure you get the shower and tuck them in at 9, 9.30 or whatever, and uh, you only got about a few hours with them. That's it. But the state, man, they got them. All right? And don't be surprised if this doesn't slip in. Don't be surprised if they start talking about cannibals and literature and stuff more and more. You know? <laughs> getting them, getting, trying to make the kids a little hungry. The little zombies. <laughs> don't let your kid be a zombie and you don't be a zombie, damn it. Yeah, they are chemtrailing. They are freaking uh, 5G and everywhere. It's dangerous, man. And the vaccines in section 13 of the pamphlet, they don't give you. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to stay on here long. I got another video I got to do, a music video. I'm trying to relax this holiday season. Then I get stuff like this. It pisses me off. Don't be indoctrinated with this crap. Because uh, they, they get their rocks off of uh, having you take your aborted baby cells, vaccines, formaldehyde in it, aluminum, aborted baby cells for flavoring in soft drinks. Um, check that one out. And uh, don't think they'll get their rocks off of that. Put it in chemtrails. All right, these sickos. Because it's a way of, it's, it's ceremonial to them. All right? And even when you watch uh, horror movies and crap, that fear that they try to instill in you, they feed off of that, these de demonic spirits. Unbelievable, man. Unfreaking real.
trying to condition you for that cannibalism.